here we are molding with our TWB Magic Mold Drainer. And uh, we've probably got a depth of about 24 inches or so. And the idea is to put a big long tube in the ground at about two meter spacings so that um, it kind of dissects the field land drains which are in here at a, a sort of 30 degree angle or so. And that kind of varies field to field depending on where the outfalls are and the slope of the field and that sort of thing. Uh, but this should hopefully help dry out one of our wetter fields. And uh, we're using the GPS technology on the tractor to uh, ensure that we get the spacings uh, as accurate as we can and the moles as straight as we can. And using that technology, we can also be more efficient in the field. So we've left one up the middle here, which uh, we'll turn around and put a mole in here, uh, going the different direction. So it's effectively creating an S-shaped pattern all the way across the field. And this should take the field, dra field water uh, straight down into the, uh, into the permeable backfill of the field drainage scheme and then that water will get into the drains and then out fall into the ditch which is just over to the left of the tree there. Uh, we haven't done any mole draining for a number of years and this is a black grassy, quite a black grassy type field. Um, it's particularly wet and heavy and uh, we've just got some black grass that's just germinating just on the soil surface here now. This field was spring wheat, there we go, very shallow rooted. Uh, was spring wheat and uh, had a cover crop on it last winter and the actual disturbance that we're getting on the soil surface is minimal um, and this should help do uh, a lot towards the, the drainage of the field. We're just getting a little bit of crop residue left here with some mustard um, and uh, Still quite a lot of trash still on the soil surface, a bit of, um, bit of fodder radish there that's been broken down quite nicely over the summer and uh, the bugs will be working away. I have been breaking that down as we, uh, as we go into this all the back end. So it seems to be going in quite nicely, little disturbance. I've been having problems in other fields where we've got quite a lot of uh, straw residue where we've chopped and uh, this is following spring wheat so the residue is less, it's quite a short crop and it's, uh, it's in the ground doing a good job.